Howdy. Hello. Today I thought I'd do something different for my video um, because I've found that now I've been doing working from the office and been the only one there and we've not been having any client visitors I've kind of been living in my converses and it, it, it suddenly made me realise that from going about six or seven years ago to not having any converse at all I now actually have enough for wearing a different pair every day of the working week. So I've got five pairs. So I thought I'd talk you through my Converse collection because five pairs surely does constitute a collection and explain why I bought them, where I got them from, how much they were and the, the kind of little anecdotes relating to the purchase of them, of each of them really. So to start off by the first pair that I ever bought and I actually bought them because I thought they were cool. I really like leather and suede stuff and these are back suede. And then I actually forgot that I had them because they were a pain in the bum to lace up. So I think I wore them once and then I put them in the Room of Doom. I forgot they were there. And then when I was sorting out the Room of Doom the other week, I found them again. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I got you. So here they, they are. So they are tall they are cozy oh. Oh. it's like wearing slippers really cozy and you can either have them laced up to the nines there or blue peter style here's one i've done earlier you can actually have them folded down they've got little pop press studs so you can press stud them down and have them folded over like that if you want so and that bit there, that folds down and goes through one of the laces there if you want. So they're pretty cool, right? And they're kind of winter converse, but they're not really because you don't, everyone who's got suede stuff knows that you don't want to get suede wet or snowy or mucky because it ruins it. But what the thing I like about these is the white line detailing on them and the fact that they're suede and they're a bit different because when you think of Converse, you think of the same kind of thing, really. But the good thing about Converse is that there's so many different styles and colours and stuff that you can actually get it to reflect yourself. So that was my first pair, and I got those, as I said, about six or seven years ago. Then, I didn't really have any reason to buy any until I was cosplaying Garth from Wayne's World, and he wears Converse. And he, I couldn't wear these ones because they've got a black toe there. And his was black with a white toe. And I didn't want to just get boring black converse. So then I saw these in the sale. Oh, I said I was going to say how much and where I got them from. I actually got my first ones from Converse's actual website. And they were on sale. I think they were like 30 quid. And I think these were, these are the ones I got because I didn't want boring black. I got my grey checkeredy boardy ones. Like little tartan type things. They've got a bit of a kind of rockabilly style to them. So I quite like them. So I, I use these for my Garth cosplay because I could get away with it because his jeans come quite, they're quite baggy jeans. So I could get away with that. And I say, I think these were about, I think these were about 25, 30 quid on, on Converse website. The next ones that I got, so I can't when did I get them. I got them. About four years ago, three, four years ago. The next pair um, were an impulse buy. I was with my friend Sally and we'd gone to Liverpool to see Jack White. And when we arrived, before we checked into our hostel, we went for a bit of a wander and had a look in some secondhand shops and what have you. And there was a shop called Soho's and we walked in there and I saw this vision of beauty and thought, oh my God, and they were my size. Oh my God. And they were £15. And you'll understand why. I just couldn't leave them there. Look at these. So the same as my first ones. I can either have them all laced up like that. Or this is where it gets really cool in 80s and hideous in a delightful way. You can have them folded down like that. <laughs> oh dear. I love them so much. They're just so ridiculous 
and very me as you know with my changing hair colour so yeah I love these so these are, are one of my favourite pairs of Converse £15 from Soho's in Liverpool and yeah they were used but they were looked brand new when I got them obviously I've worn them for a bit so a little bit on the grubby side but yeah love them love them love them that was two years ago that I got those then I didn't really need to get any Converse again really for a while <laughs> I, I was just used to living in these really I'd lived in these so much which is why these are probably my most battered ones still pretty good nick though because I tend to I tend to wear my Doc Martin boots quite a lot and at work it was always like boots or brogues really not Converse except on occasion so the next ones I was with Sally again and we were in Budapest for Ziget Festival last August and it was hot and we'd only packed gladiator sandals because we were flying by Ryanair and we had to like travel light so we didn't really pack much <laughs> so we just had thought oh, gladiator sandals are fine so I took two pairs of gladiators and by the third day we just had blisters on blisters I was like oh my god we were just knackered it was too hot we were fed up we had blisters so we decided to go and hunt down some shops and get some emergency footwear and some socks. So I think I'm wearing the socks actually. I bought, yeah, I bought two pairs of socks. One of them's them. <laughs> Pug cake. <laughs> and I also bought some Converse. Now I didn't fall in love with these at first because I felt like I was being forced into buying them just to stop my feet from hurting. So but I really love them now and they are so comfy now. And also when you try things on, you've got blisters. Nothing's really comfy and you're like, oh, is it just going to make it worse? They didn't. So these ones are my beautiful rainbow converse. So yeah, so they got those those from, from Budapest and these ended up in the exchange rate. I thought they'd be really expensive. I couldn't work out Hungarian money. I can't even work out pounds a lot of the time. But these ended up being about 24 quid. So bargain. And yeah, I live in these quite a lot. I really do. So yeah, these are fairly recent purchases. Ugh. Right, okay. My most recent ones are my bargain of the century. I actually went into um, my local Oxfam shop in Ilkley. Now I like going into the charity shops with a specific brief. I don't tend to just see things and buy them I'm quite a I'm quite a disciplined shopper in that way I need to have a reason generally to buy things like I need something so I'll go and look around all the shops until I find something of that sort that I need and I think I needed a coat so I was looking around for coats I went in um I saw a sign in the window saying they were looking for photographers and people to manage their online sales and stuff so I had a chat with the manager upstairs about that then I came down, I went to leave the shop and then remembered that I needed to look for a coat. So I dashed to look for a coat and instead of finding a coat, I found these bad boys. Lime green, practically brand new at the time. Obviously, I've worn them a few times since, but they were impeccable condition. Beauties. And these were £5.99. Now that's a bargain at the best of times. For a charity shop in Ilkley, that's even more of a bargain. So yeah, so these are my most recent ones. And I love these. I love all of them. I do. But it's got to the point now, other than the first two pairs, the rest of them have just kind of found me. And I love the fact that, yeah, it was like I was in the right place at the right time to buy them. And I love the fact that Two out of them are, you know, second hand because I I don't like the thought of second hand things like not fulfilling the destiny. I don't like the thought that someone's bought them and realised that they they've made a mistake and then it's not the shoes fault, it's not the things fault. <laughs> so the fact that I can give them a loving home and lots of wear makes me feel happy. So there you go. So <sighs> That is a tale of five converse. So there we go. Hello, Billy Bouncer. Hi. 
that. I've got forward facing camera on so I've no idea if you saw any of that but I'm going to trust that it's worked out okay. So there you go. I'm going to upload this on Monday but this is like a Sunday's shoe musing I guess or a shoesing. So anyway it's glorious. Do you want to have a look at my, my window view? Look. Whoa. Hello Beamsley Beacon. How are you today? There you go. Ilkley. Ilkley Maud over there. Yeah, a little bit of the cow and calf, just about there. I can't, I can't see my finger. Well, yeah, it's over there. You just kind of have to take my word for it. Actually, that tree has grown too big. When the tree's got less leaves on it, you can see more of the view. But it's still a pretty cool view, right? A nice sky as well. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's not too bad. Nice sunshiny day. Been out for a walk with um with me bare shoulders and everything so yeah it has been a nice day so i hope you're all staying safe and uh, enjoying the, the weather while it lasts again and um, take it easy i'll see you soon bye